Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. This is a continuation of a series where I'm taking the same RAW file and I'm processing it in multiple applications. Yesterday, I took this RAW file and I processed it in Exposure X6. And this is what I came up with. The day before that, I took the same RAW file and I processed it in Capture One. And this is the results from Capture One. And finally, the day before that, I took that same RAW file and I processed it in Lightroom. And here's what I came up with in Lightroom. Today, we're going to take this same RAW file and we're going to process it in On One Photo Raw 2021. In the description below this video is a link. You could download this RAW file for free and just mess around with it and process it in any application you work with and see what you come up with. Also in the description below this video, I have links to the manufacturers for all the uh, software that I'll be doing in this series. Most of them have free trials. You can download a free trial, try it out for yourself, process this raw file in their fully working free trial and again, see what you come up with. I also have discount codes for most of the manufacturers and you could save a few dollars if you decide to purchase it. Now I mentioned we're gonna do this in On One Photo Raw 2021. Um, I'm in the develop module and I'm gonna go right to tone and color and typically, the first thing I like to do is crop the image. I like what I came uh, up with out of camera, so I'm not gonna crop it here. The second thing I like to do is I adjust white balance. I think white balance is fine, so I'm not gonna do anything there. And then finally, I just look at the image and I think to myself, well, what does it need most? And looking at this image, it's really dark. So I'm just going to go right to the shadows. And we're gonna open up shadows. Then I'll go up to highlights and I'll bring highlights down, trying to bring some detail back up into that sky. And I'm then gonna to go to midtones uh, on one photo raw 2021. It's nice, it has a midtone slider. So I'm gonna bring that down as well. Again, trying to just get more detail in some of those uh, brighter parts of the image by bringing that down. And that's pretty good there. Now to get a white and black point in on one photo raw 2021, what you need to do is hold the J key in. You can't just tap it, you have to hold it in. And when you hold it in, you'll see if anything is clipping. If you're clipping highlights, you'll have red over the highlight that is clipping. If you have any shadows clipping, you'll have blue. Now, in this case, I'm not clipping anything, but let me hold that J key in and move this whites to the right. You can see I'm starting to clip, right? And I don't like to clip highlights at all, if possible. So I'll just back that off till they're not clipping. Similarly, again, I'll hold the J key in and go to the black slider and I'll move that to left. And you can see there's blue now. I'm starting to crush those shadows. I like to clip shadows a little bit. It just adds a little more tonal depth, in my opinion, to my images. So I'll leave a little blue there. Now, next, after I did get tone, what I like to do is go to color. Now, I could do it here in the develop module, but I prefer doing that in the effects module. A new, unique feature of On One Photo 2021 is the effects module. And with effects, you could do a lot of different things to the image. And the advantage of doing things like color that I could do here in the develop module, the advantage of doing them in the effects module is in the effects module, there's masking. So I could mask the effect where I want it. So I'm gonna do that, not here. I'm gonna do color in the effects module. Now, if I just uh, go and close down the tone and color, Details, I've mentioned many times, um, I really don't need to make this image super sharp. It's a landscape. And I will do something in the effects module to make it sharp. So I'm not gonna do anything here. Also noise reduction, um, it's shot at very low ISO and there's really no noise in it. But again, I would prefer to do that in the effects module because in the effects module, if I reduce noise, masking is available and I could mask the noise reduction in or out on my image where needed. So I'm not gonna do anything with detail here. Lens corrections, I'll just make sure I found the right lens and it did. And finally, transform, I don't need to do anything there. So I'm just gonna jump right over to that effects module and we're gonna go and do some stuff with color now. And I'm gonna go to add filter and you can see there's a lot of different filters. I'm gonna go to color enhancer. And with the color enhancer filter, I'm gonna jump right down to the bottom and do something similar to what I did with all those other applications. I'm going to go to the orange tab or orange swatch first and like the other applications, I'm gonna increase saturation and I'm going to bring down the brightness. I'm gonna make the oranges a little darker and a little more vibrant. Then I'm going to go to yellow and I'm gonna do the same exact thing, increase saturation, reduce uh, brightness. Then I'll jump over to blue and with blue, I'm just gonna 
decrease brightness a little bit like that. I'm going to go up to the saturation slider up here and I'm going to move that to the right and just increase saturation like that. So I'm pretty much done with color. Now I mentioned that, um, well I've said in the other videos, that after I do color I like to deal with sharpness or clarity or texture, those things I'll do next. And there is, I've mentioned many times, you people are probably tired of me, tired of hearing me say it, that my favorite filter in On One Photo Raw 2021 is Dynamic Contrast. So I'm just going to use that. And right when you put it on, it's going to automatically put what's this natural kind of preset to it. And I'm going to turn it off and on so you could see what it did. There's before and there's after. You could see how it just does a great job of teasing out any detail. And to tell you the truth, I'm really happy with just that natural preset on this image. If I wasn't, I'd move the sliders around and experiment a little bit. But I kind of like what it did, so I think that's fine. Now, uh, like I did in those other applications, I want to do something with those cliffs in the background. I want to make those a little brighter. So I'm going to add a filter for that. And I'm going to go to the um, Tone Enhancer filter. All right. Now with the Tone Enhancer filter, um, it's kind of like a basic tab in other apps, right? I'm going to go to Exposure and I'm going to turn it up. And you can see that it's making the entire image brighter. But I mentioned these filters have masking. So I can mask this adjustment in or out where I want it. I only want it in on the cliffs. So to turn on masking, go to this little icon right here, little mask, click on it, and you'll open up the masking section. It will give you a brush when you do that. And up top, you have some brush attributes. You could see that there's a size adjustment, feathering, opacity, and flow. I like feather opacity flow at 100. Size, I could adjust it there, but I actually prefer to use the bracket keys. The left bracket key makes it smaller, right bracket key larger. Also on the far right, uh, since I turned exposure up, it's making the entire image brighter. I don't want it. I want to do it where I brush. So I'm going to invert it. So now we've just kind of put a mask on here. It's a black mask, you can see over here. And it took that adjustment away. But I'm going to paint in. You can see there's a mode here, paint in, paint out. We're going to paint it in where I want. And that's going to be right on these cliffs. So I'm painting in the adjustment on the cliffs. So you can see how easy that is to do. Now I'm just going to do a quick job. I keep getting <laughs> I keep getting ridiculed for how poorly I'm painting on here, but I'm just going fast cuz I don't want you people to watch me paint for 20 minutes. And I'm doing a sloppy job. Obviously, oops, I made a mistake right there. If you make a mistake, go to the uh, drop down here, go to paint out mode and just paint out where you want it, paint it out. And then go back into paint in mode and paint it back in where you need it. So I'm just going to again go quick. All right, so I brighten those clips. Let's do cliffs. Let's do a before after. There's before and there's after. All right, so we added some exposure there. Um, I could add detail and clarity too. So whatever adjustments are in here now are just masked into that specific area where I painted. Now, You'll know, remember in the other videos, I also increased saturation on the cliffs. Well, I could do that here too. Even though this specific filter doesn't have saturation in it, what I can do is I could copy the mask by clicking this little copy button. I'll go up to add filter, and then we're going to add a color enhancer filter, a second one. So I'm adding a second color enhancer filter. I'm going to go to the masking tools and I'm going to paste the mask and watch the mask right here when I do it. Now it's masked. It copied the mask from the previous filter and then I could go to saturation and let's say I take saturation all the way down. See I have black and white uh, gray cliffs. If I turn it up, see I could increase saturation very easily. So really cool uh, features that on One Photo Raw 2021 has um, with these filters and I really enjoy using them. Now another filter I like to use, and I'm just going to try it out. I'm not sure to tell you the truth that this is, um, this is a tool or a filter that I might keep on this image. So I'm going to go to add filter and I'm going to go to the sunshine filter. This is a filter I like. Uh, I like generally using these presets going across the top. There's natural. They're strong. I'm not sure I like it on this image, to tell you the truth, but I wanted to try it. There's glow. 
I don't like usually the glows. Anything that gives kind of um, this kind of hazy look, I usually don't care for. Uh, if you go to the drop down, it has those three in the drop down and others, and you just could hover over them. There's natural again, there's radiance, there's strong again, there's sun glow, there's sunshine, and there's warm highlights. Let's try that warm highlights just for a second. Let's do a before after. Before, after. I can't even really even see it too much. Uh, it does have, have an opacity sliders. Most of the um, filters have an opacity slider. So if you think you've dialed something in a little too strong, you could bring opacity down. Or if you want more, you could go to the right. Now in this case here, it's not really doing anything I like. So I'm just going to get rid of it by clicking on the little X. And I'm going to finish up the image. I'm going to go to Add Filter. And we're going to go to Vignette. And with the vignette filter, they have, again, some filter presets going across the top. They're subtle. I like subtle. Strong. Uh, Big Softy is really popular. A lot of people like that. To me, that's a little bit too strong. Then we have edges. Then drop down, you can see there's several more. But I'm just going to go with subtle, and I like it. If you don't want to use a preset, of course, you could just slide, you know, dial in your own, your own settings with the sliders. Again, we're just going to use subtle on this image. And... I think I'm pretty much done. So this is what I've come up with with On One Photo Raw 2021. Again, uh, download the image uh, for yourself and mess around with it in whatever application uh, you use. A couple people have tagged me on Twitter and Instagram on their versions of the image. That's pretty cool to see what other people come up with. Again, uh, you know, this isn't objective. Uh, this is just the way I would do it. You're you know, way may be totally different and there's no right or wrong way. So, um, I mentioned I'm holding off doing Luminar AI because I'm hearing rumors that they're coming up with a maintenance update. And the maintenance updates usually are just like bug fixes and stuff. No new features, but I'm just holding off until that might happen. And, um, so, um, in our next video, if that maintenance update isn't released yet, I'm going to do it on PhotoLab 4. I'm going to do this image or pr process this image in PhotoLab 4. If Luminar um, Skylum software comes up with that uh, maintenance update, then I'll do it in Luminar AI. So I'm not sure. I'll probably do that sometime tomorrow. Thank you. Everyone who watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.